Hello everybody and welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today I'm in an experimental mood. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at missiles, or to be more exact, the lack thereof. You see, missiles in BD Armoury dogfights, they're a, they're a strange beast. I mean, there's a sense in which they're useful in a tactical sense, but uh, we'll discuss that a little later. Uh, but if your opponent's craft is good enough, they'll just dodge them anyway. No one wants to see a missile kill. Everyone wants to see that close in dogfighting with guns. And um, missiles just, they're really heavy and they just make your craft much less manoeuvrable and make that dogfighting less enjoyable to watch. So uh, I thought, what if we just stuck to guns? We got rid of the missiles and we replaced them with even more guns. Let's take this thing up for a test flight. So we took it up for a test flight and my god I'd forgotten how manoeuvrable these craft are when they're stripped of any additional weight. I mean this is just ridiculous. I'm doing my normal thing where I try and do a figure of eight using the VAB in the control tower with, uh, with full throttle and afterburners and it just turns too well. I'm having to stop mid-turn and uh, Right towards the end I try and turn around the VAB, but the turn's too tight, I clip the VAB, and then there are the guns. My god. You know what I think this is? I think this is where I did the A-10 last video. I couldn't face the step down from a GAU-8 to twin Vulcan. Something in my subconscious just wanted to keep that immense firepower at my fingertips, and these guns destroy the KSC almost as effectively as they destroy my frame rate. My poor little PC can't cope with that many bullets in the air at once. If I fire for any prolonged period of time, it's down to a crawl, but uh, it does recover fairly quickly, so that's um, that's something, I suppose. Anyway, it's all well and good flying about destroying the KSC, and it's a lot of fun flying about destroying the KSC, but uh, we want to test to see if this is a sensible... <laughs> sensible... This is one of the stupidest things I've ever done. We want to see if this is a viable tactical option, so we are going to go and test it against its alternative. So here we are then. I've set up a simple 2v2. Uh, I know I normally go for a 3v3, but you can't have more than two craft arm like this and uh, still keep a respectable frame rate, so uh, 2v2 it is. I've got two of these cyclones armed with uh, all guns, and two with the more traditional guns and missiles approach. Let's get them up in the air. Now there is a way this approach can backfire, something I touched on a little earlier. Um, now if you have two sets of planes armed only with guns flying at each other, they're just going to go straight into a joust, no one's really got an advantage, and both can be killed quite easily, which isn't really what you want. But if you've got missiles, even if they don't hit, it kind of throws your enemy off. Um, it's like the jab in boxing. Throws your enemy off, keeps them occupied, keeps them distracted, whilst you uh, whilst you follow in with the main blow. Now, uh, if you've got both craft armed with missiles, those kind of cancel each other out. But if only one side's got missiles, one side can take advantage of that, the other can't. So it's going to be very interesting to see if Jebediah's team here can close the gap and make those guns count as early as possible. Everyone's breaking low for missiles, chaff flying off, looks like Jebediah's dodged that quite easily. Who's Jebediah joined by today? Tomri Kerman breaking off again as another load of missiles fly in. That missile getting a bit close, but uh, oh, that gap is closing. More missiles flying in, it looks like oh, that's close. And now, can Tomri, can Tomri turn and get guns to this plane? Oh, and no! That tactical advantage I was just discussing comes into play. How's Jebediah getting on? Got guns incoming, but the craft flies straight past him. Is he quick enough to... Oh, no, he's got a missile coming in now. Who's that? That is... Ah, that's Tomri Kerman there, taking a beating. Can Jebediah come in and save his wingman? Or is he going to turn around and try and... get bring guns to bear on that other cyclone? Oh, there go the guns. But to no avail, it looks like. Tomri Kerman still distracting them. Just keep distracting them a little longer and Jebediah can come in. With that ridiculous quantity of guns... If you can actually line up a shot, 
I think some of them are quite off center, so it might make lining up a shot a bit difficult. Oh, they come close. There we go. Just a smattering. Just a smattering, but a decent hit. And it's all over like that. Where's Jebediah? Got a craft on his tail. Can he make that extra maneuverability count? Loses a control surface. Can he get himself turned around? Can he lose? Where the hell is that craft? Oh. Oh, and it's a bit too much. And that's... Oh, and that's the autopilot lost. So it's just Tom Ree Kerman in the fight, and I don't think she's going to be in the fight for much longer as things stand. Uh, unless one of the other craft comes and blows out an equivalent wing section just to balance her up. No, that tactical advantage I was discussing really came into play here, but... Uh, yeah, we got to see those guns in action, but I think the moral of the story is... Uh, Oh, Tommy just about avoids crashing into the ocean. The moral of the story is there's a reason we don't equip craft with just massive gun loadouts like that. Um, but uh, that's not going to stop me. So the next thing I'm going to do is fight my craft off against each other to see who is the best in this particular configuration. I've got one of my cyclones armed as it was last time and a similarly reconfigured club tail. Let's get them up into the air. So, uh, all guns doesn't guarantee you the win. It, uh, it does guarantee you a lot of fun, but sadly not the win. Uh, I, did do, I did a load of test fights just to see if, if that would work with the, uh, with the previous T 2v2. And the, uh, the guns and missiles did win most of them, but yeah, when when the guns won, they won big, and it was a sight to behold. So, um, a bit sad they didn't win when it came to the actual the actual recorded fight, but, uh, well, they managed to get a kill nonetheless. Now, here the fight starts, and this is going to be pretty predictable. They are just going to fly towards each other as quickly as possible, getting up to... I can't remember what I set the maximum speed to. I think it's just the default, which is, I think, about 325... They're just going to close the distance, get into a joust. There we go. And then just break off like that. And now the real competition begins. As I mentioned earlier, both craft going to be a lot more manoeuvrable. Oh, it's Gemini versus Valentina. Oh, this is a fight. And it looks like... Oh! It looks like that Cyclone just got pretty much one-shotted what's left of it. What happened there? Just strip off the weapon manager? That's... That's the AI flight. That's the autopilot. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like... Um, there we go. Jebediah gets shredded by Valentina. Yeah, it looks like she just stripped off the weapon manager and... Well, that was that. Oh, well, never mind. First blood to the club tails and... First blood to Valentina. So, uh... Let's go and see... Oh, that was unnecessary. Oh, Valentina, you are a very bad person. Anyway, as I was saying, let's go see what we've got for the next fight. So, the same thing again. This time, my Cyclone will be going up against my all-gun armed Panther. And once again, it's Valentina versus Jebediah. Let's get them into the air. I didn't intend for this to be a Jebediah versus Valentina kind of fight, but it kind of looks like it's turning out that way. I mean, normally when you just spawn craft in to place them, the um, vessel mover just sort of creates new, recruits new Kerbals to uh, to sit in the cockpit, but uh, obviously something different's happened this time, and we are getting... getting. Oh, I'm sure they're the best of friends. I'm sure they're not really bitter rivals, but... Uh, but today, yeah, things have taken a, a very sinister twist. Anyway, the competition starts and both craft start bearing down on each other. I think the Panther is, I think it's the lighter craft, so I think it's going to be the faster accelerator. But um, 
as I said, I think the uh, the AI is configured so they should both have the same top speed that they'll stick to. There go the guns. Oh, everyone pulls their shot low. And everyone turns round to try and reacquire their targets. Valentina flipping out a little bit there. Is that the opportunity Jebediah needed? Here comes the gunfire. But Valentina's going to put in some of her own. Valentina loses something. What she lose there? There was a little... Explosion. Has she lost a gun? I think she... I can't tell. Anyway, both craft turning around to try and reacquire. Jebediah getting his guns off first. Oh! Valentina loses her nose cone. Jebediah, I think, is largely unscathed. Is this revenge time for Jebediah? The cyclone pulls around hard. The Panther getting its guns away first, but now Jebediah... Oh. And now it's Jebediah's turn to get scorched. Everyone turns around hard. It's not really a particularly sophisticated dogfight, this. It's pretty, pretty formulaic. Try and kill your opponents. No. Turn around, reacquire. I hope you like jousts. I hope you like dogfighting jousts. Oh! Jebediah's lost an air intake. That was what exploded. Yeah, hopefully you like Joust, because this is just all Joust. Jebada are not looking too good here, is he, really? He's lost one of his wing surfaces. These Cyclones, they can actually fly pretty well if they... They lost both of those Delta wing segments, but... If you've just lost one, that's pretty much game over. You can't really fly the craft's just too unbalanced. Valentina. The noseless Valentina. Well, I mean, all Kerbals are noseless. You know what I mean. Tries to line up that kill shot. Look at just that spray of bullets that goes everywhere. It's just ridiculous. There goes the shot, and... There goes Jebediah's Cyclone. Oh, dear. Let go. Deploy, shoot. Okay, so Valentina is going to be the winner regardless. Let's go see if uh, let's go see if Jebediah can salvage a bit of pride. Well, I thought this was going to be an opportunity for Jebediah to salvage a bit of pride, but Vessel Move has thrown me a curveball in the form of Vernie Kerman. So uh, it's just going to be we're just going to have to watch this for the for the fight between the craft. It's the Clubtail versus the Panther. Let's get them up into the air. So Jebediah probably off sulking somewhere. No, Jebediah's not the sort to sulk. He's probably trying to give himself a pep talk. Get back in the ring. Get back out to the airfield only to find that Bernie Kerman's stolen his club tail and is going to fight Valentina herself. One good thing about these craft being much lighter and not being weighed down with all those missiles is they accelerate quicker and they get out to fighting distance a lot quicker. There we go, the fight starts, and once again, it's become it's become pretty formulaic, as I said, but um, no less interesting. Let's follow Valentina in, in the Panther to see if she's as effective as she was last time. Remember last time the Clubtail did get the drop on the, on the Cyclone with the first of these head-to-heads, so it'll be interesting. It's the it's like the, the, the winners of both previous fights going head to head. The Panther I don't think is as manoeuvrable as the Clubtail. No, the Clubtail gets its shots away first, but here comes the Panther. Oh! Yeah, I think the Clubtail's a little too manoeuvrable. It can turn and get really close in. The Panther's not really going to get a shot in. Jebediah must be kicking himself because this was probably his golden opportunity to square things well not square things up but get some revenge oh and there goes some shredding going on Valentina missing a control surface but nothing nothing uh, more important than that but now Vernie is on her tail gets into a bit of a spin and she is shredded Some more gunfire. Yep. 
that just finishes it off. Destroyed the wings, destroyed the fuselage, destroying my white balance. Ooh, that was a bit close. And uh, since we did it for Jebediah, I'm sure we can do it for Valentina as well, although she gets thrown off instead of jumping off. Deploy shoot. I hope you're not shooting at Valentina. No, just the remnants of the craft as it falls out of the sky. <laughs> this is ridiculous, but I'm so glad I did it. Anyway, we'll try and be back to something a little bit saner in the next video. Um, or maybe not, who knows. Anyway, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.